According to an interview with Howard Stern, Joel had originally titled the song Uptown Girls, and it was conceived on an occasion when he was surrounded by Christy Brinkley, Whitney Houston, and his then-girlfriend, Elle McPherson. According to numerous interviews with Joel, the song was initially written about his relationship with McPherson, but it ended up also becoming about his soon-to-be wife, Brinkley both women being two of the most famous supermodels of the 1980s. Billy Joel, Uptown Girl. She learned automobile maintenance from a Williams College class Williamstown residents could audit. Then she said she studied astronomy at the Venerable Hopkins Observatory. He wanted to change and he got it. First he used his newfound obsession to overcome his fear of deep water and learned how to swim at the college pool because he thought she would think less of him for drown because she didn't know how to swim. Next, he began plotting how to raise his GPA so she would think he was smarter than he was. Then he started exercising to get his body in shape to try to get her to like him. Then, since she had a work-study job, he thought she might like him if he got an after-school job, so he applied to England Brothers and became an elevator operator after the previous elevator operator had been fired for bringing a large group of lovely female cashiers and salespersons that would pack the elevator at night to a halt halfway between the floors and then shutting the lights off, which he only fantasized, which he only fantasized about doing, which we were fantasizing. While waiting for the courage to talk to her, he investigated the rare book section where Miss Dalzell helped him find a very important book. One night he thought he saw her in the library basement study cubicles and after she left, looked in the cubicle with fine stalker stealth and found a paper describing something as Pareto Inferior. The power Pareto law says no matter what nation or economy you look at, 20% of the people own 80% of the wealth. The computer spit out what is known as the power law or the 80-20 rule. A famous concept in economics, the power law says no matter what economy you look at, almost everywhere, 20% of the people own 80% of the wealth. What's more, luck was the single greatest determinant in wealth acquisition. https colon forward slash forward slash bit dot ly forward slash 2qf capital L S 6 capital G Prudential Equity Group 1 New York Plaza New York New York 10004 Freedom Tower Base Jump Polly Prep in the Perp, an institutional equity sale per salesperson at Prudential Equity Group in New York on 9-11. She became a managing director of institutional sales, New York of Concord Ingenuity Incorporated in April of 2011. Graduating Williams College in 1985, she had been offered a job with Salomon Brothers Investment Services, occupiers of World Trade Center Building 7, and the inspiration for bonfires of the vanities. Concord Genuity is a full-service investment banking company. If you write it, they will come. After 18 years on Wall Street, her husband decides to write a book about playing catch with his father when he was young and then his own son after the World Trade Center.